Well, finally found an alley store. Was it everything I hoped for? Let's find out. All right, everybody, so as you saw, finally found Ali's location and made the trip over there. Was everything I hoped for? Short answer, absolutely not. But we can take a look at some of the footage here and kind of get an idea of what this particular location in Indiana kind of had to offer as far as the graphic novel comic section. So take a look there and then we'll come back. <laughs> So as you saw, this <laughs> this particular location did not offer a whole lot. I guess I was kind of set up, I don't want to say I have lofty expectations, but just really kind of set up from all the other uh, footage that I've seen on YouTube from everybody else hitting their different Ollie's locations and seeing like just massive stacks of cheap graphic novels and comic packs, all this good stuff. But the one I went to, just basically this one little section, but, I was able to score a few things that I was, uh, nothing too fantastic, but some cool stuff nonetheless, especially some stuff that I wanted, including a few other books. So yeah, so was, I don't know. Again, I, I guess I was expecting a little bit more, but I don't know, who knows? But here we go. So actually I'll start with this because I like Sudoku. So grab, Gigantic Sudoku book, family favorites, Sudoku puzzles, all them special, over 510 puzzles, different difficulties. Was it easy to challenge? So yeah, that's a lot of puzzles, but cheap Sudoku book that'll last for a long time. That's fantastic. And then, uh, so got Sudoku, got some graphic novels and one other section of books that I was looking for some coloring books, some DC coloring books. I do like to color. Color pencils are my thing. I do like markers as well. Crayons are a scam, but I was happy to get some of these. So I'll run through a few of these. So got Green Arrow, get two of those. Batgirl, which does feature Babs, Stephanie, and Cass, which is cool. Uh, got Batman, Court of the Owls. And of course, the one I was really looking forward to, some Supergirl, because I know I love Supergirl, with uh, Emmanuel Lupacino's art on the cover here, which is fantastic. So I have, actually I have four of these right now. I got three from there just because they were $1.99. I figured, what the hell. The other ones I want is, there's a Wonder Woman one. I think there's a Justice League one. So I do want all of those as well. And yeah, I just, I like the color. Well, as far as why I grabbed multiples, because Sometimes I will uh, well, I just take the idea of like coloring the book and then like that's it. Or if I don't have another one, 
then what if like I mess up something or I want to recolor something? So, and then I pick up multiples also because I take them to work and I make copies for students because they like to color superheroes. So, uh, sometimes we'll do it together. So yeah, those are my coloring books. And then we get some graphic novels. Probably shouldn't have teased them like that, but we'll start over at DC. Uh, this one was, I figured just what the hell. I didn't read this. Or wait, did I, did I read? I don't know. But it's uh, Green Lantern Volume 1 from uh, The New 52. And I don't think I read this one. I can't remember if I was reading Green Lantern for New 52. I know I was reading the previous runs. So I honestly, I just can't remember. So I figured, what the hell, it was two ninety nine? I think it's the first six issues. Yeah, so first six issues, Green Lantern, check that out. And then this one was really just for the hell of it. Supergirl, Volume 1, New 52. This is the first seven issues. Supergirl, Last Daughter of Krypton. Even though I have all this, I was reading I was reading Supergirl, obviously. But I figured, what the hell? Also, this put me on to uh, Mamu, wait, yeah. So Mamu Asrar, who did some stuff at DC and Marvel. And this is my first introduction to his art. And I was just digging the way he uh, portrayed Kara throughout this. It was just cool as hell. And it was a good story, so some good storytelling. I figured, what the hell? I don't even have any Supergirl trades. So everything I have is single issue. So actually, I have the like her Silver Age omnibus, uh, both of those volumes. So like some more cheap Supergirl for the uh, bookshelf. And then this one, this is Scarlet Witch. I think it's volume two. But yeah, so Scarlet Witch from 2015. This is issue six from six through ten and material from Doctor Strange, The Last Days of Magic, number one. I figured, what the hell, uh, I remember just seeing a lot of these covers. They just look cool as hell. Didn't know much about what happened with the series, but seeing this one, I wish they would've had volume one, I would've grabbed that too. But I figured maybe I'll come across it uh, another point. So yeah, Supergirl. Or er, not Supergirl, Scarlet Witch. And then <laughs> last up, now this one was probably my favorite find along with the Supergirl coloring books, but probably better because it's actual comics. But this was just featuring two characters, younger characters, I think, well, at least at the time, that I think have been well beloved since their introduction and have made uh, a lot of cameos since then and have had their own stories as well. So when I saw it, I was thinking, oh, I absolutely have to get that. No hesitation. So here we go. Cloak and Dagger, Shadows and Light. So this big, thick book is cool as hell, features a whole lot of stuff. Some issues from Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, uh, Cloak and Dagger miniseries, Marvel Team Up Annual, Marvel Fanfare, and a couple of New Mutants issues as well. What was this? Uh, $6.99. So I, I just gotta peel off these ugly Ollie's price stickers. But yeah, this is just cool as hell. And like Cloak and Dagger is cool, just two characters who I do like when they pop up from time to time in other series, other stories. And I've never read any of these issues. So yeah, this was uh, just pretty cool. And then like just tons of creators who worked on it again, it's multiple titles. So I'm gonna have even more creators across there, but this was just cool as hell. So, so yeah, that was everything I got from Ollie's. And again, it was not, uh, I hesitate to say I was disappointed because I don't really know where my actual uh, expectations really were, but the fact that I was still able to come away with a few things and a couple books that I don't come across often, uh, especially for cheap. So I was really kind of hoping going in, I was expecting to just walk away with damn near half a cart full of just awesome trades and just like fantastic, like cool stories, some stuff I already have, like the Supergirl one. But then also just a bunch of other stuff. Like, oh man, I've been just come across a bunch of stories that I haven't read just to try out for cheap. But that didn't happen. And one also thing I gotta say about Ollie's, and you kind of saw it at the video when I kind of uh, panned up at the very top, two top shelves of this section, which is terrible design by Ollie's. So not that anybody from Ollie's is watching, but this is a stupid design. So two top shelves that so nobody can reach. So I had to wait for somebody, had to go find somebody go get a step stool, but then because of like liabilities and that type of thing, like which I absolutely understand, they had to go like use a step stool to go up there. But then I'm thinking, you have a bunch of books up there. I want to see what you have. So they're like, oh, 
So I had somebody go up there and lay, who got the step stool. She couldn't reach up there. So she had to find somebody, a taller employee to go up there. And then so we pulling books down, but like, I just want to see what's up there. I don't know what you have up there. And I can only see like a little bit from the front. So like, what this is a terrible design. You have a bunch of stuff here. I don't know what you have. You could have more stuff up there. I would have bought if I would have known what's up there. So either just eliminate that type of thing or get something for customers to be able to go up there to look at the books. But you have, I understand, again, understand the liability stuff, but bring all this stuff down, just skip the top two rows because nobody can reach up there and then put them down lower somewhere on another shelf or make some more space somewhere so people can have access to the entire thing without stopping. Cause I had to stop. I just, I just ended up stopping new because like, I was like, I felt bad for kind of inconvenience. So I was like, you know what? Just don't really worry about it. Sorry. I don't like, I don't want to just inconvenience you guys while I see what the hell you have up there. But it also kind of like eliminates, like I just want to buy some stuff and check out what you have. And if I can't even see most of like a good chunk of what you have, like, well, like it just doesn't connect, especially from even from a business perspective. So I don't know, just minor complaints. So if you imagine some other Ollie's, if you've ever been to Ollie's, then I imagine somebody has probably had the same kind of uh, reaction or just kind of uh, observation about that. So I don't know if you have, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, so that was my experience, my first trip to an Ollie's location, hoping to maybe some of the other stores around the country. Maybe if I come across another one, hopefully I just have a bigger selection and eat more, uh, like easier as far as accessibility to everything that they have to offer. But yeah, so let me know what you thought of my haul. What do you think of Ollie's? If you've been to Ollie's, where are some of the cool books that you picked up? Either just Stuff that you were hunting for and you found a good price on or just interesting little stories that you just want to check out like oh you know what this might be a cool story to read or some characters a specific a specific story storyline event or just some creators that you're interested in share all that in the comments below uh happy reading happy on happy collecting this is Unis comics and as always thanks for watching